Begin by finding a position for your body that feels comfortable for you right now. Reposition your body in any way that you need to, to allow comfort to enter your body. And as you get comfortable, notice if there's any muscular tension present at this time, perhaps in your face or your jaw, your neck, your shoulders, your arms, your hands, your legs, your feet. If any of your muscles seem tense, gently invite them to relax. Relax your body. If you'd like, if it feels good for you, invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. Not a huge grin, just a gentle, easy smile. And take a moment to enjoy this, to enjoy being comfortable and relaxed with a gentle, easy smile on your face. Allow yourself to really enjoy that. And without losing this in your body, the comfort and relaxation and your smile, begin to involve your mind in the process by reflecting on things in your life that you're grateful for, whatever that might be for you. Tell yourself in your mind, verbally, what you're grateful for. For example, I feel grateful that I have food to eat. Or, I feel grateful that I have friends I can call during a difficult time. Or, I feel grateful for the beautiful sunset that I saw. Whatever it might be for you, tell yourself about things in your life that you're grateful for. Be sure that you can hear these phrases in your mind, saying, I feel grateful for this, and I feel grateful for that, whatever it is for you.
Now, bring to mind someone who's relatively easy for you to feel love for. Your easy to love person or animal. Whoever that might be for you. Could be a friend or family member. A small child or pet in your life. Or even someone imaginary. Allow yourself to bring someone like that to mind. And in your mind's eye, visualize them being happy. Perhaps smiling or laughing or recalling a happy memory that you shared with them. Visualize them being happy. If you'd like, you can add phrases like, may they be happy, or I love you so much. Whether you're using images or phrases in your mind, allow yourself to cultivate the genuine desire that they might be happy. Use your mind to cultivate that desire. And if feelings of happiness or love arise for you, if you can feel those emotions in your body, allow yourself to really enjoy them. Feel the happiness and love that arises for you as you cultivate love for your easy to love person or animal. Really enjoy it. those feelings of love have arisen for you in your body, allow those to be present in your body, even as we transition techniques. Continue to feel and maintain and even grow that love in your body. Now, Imagine that you are with a friend, a friend who is suffering, 
someone who is going through some kind of difficult experience. Perhaps they're sick. They're in the hospital and you're visiting them. Or perhaps they're sitting by your side, telling you about a difficult experience that they're going through. Loss of a loved one, losing a job, a breakup, something confusing and painful on their heart. Imagine that you're with a friend that's suffering. Notice what that feels like to imagine yourself with someone that you love, that's suffering, that's hurting, that's going through a difficult time. See if you can connect to that suffering in your heart. Knowing that by opening your heart to loving this person, You accept the possibility that you will feel for them. That when they are suffering, you will be connected to that. That you're not separate from them. Imagine that that suffering, your connection to that suffering, is present in your body as a tarry, black, thick, gooey substance. And begin to inhale that suffering. Breathing it in so as to purify it. On your inhale, visualize that tarry black substance of suffering and see yourself taking it in, soaking it up so as to purify it. And as you exhale, visualize that turning into white healing light, a glowing, radiating, calm peace, exhaling out of your body. Be connected to their suffering on the inhale, visualizing it as a tarry substance, and purify it on your exhale, visualizing a white healing light, filling your body, the room, and touching your friend that's suffering. providing a gentle, nurturing love to them, even in this difficult moment.
Be aware of your breathing. Mindful of your breathing. Knowing your inhale and knowing your exhale. Connect to suffering, the existence of suffering, the presence of suffering. And cultivate the desire that suffering might be resolved, that you might be a force for resolving suffering. Using the breath to visualize, purifying that suffering healing that suffering. See if you can maintain a connection to each of these components. As if you were juggling three balls, mindfulness of breathing, awareness of suffering and compassion, the desire to end suffering. using your body and the visualization process to be connected to all of that. If that's difficult, feel free to simply be aware of your breathing, knowing that presence and mindfulness are already a gift to someone who's suffering, simply being present with them. not flinching or looking away, just being present. As you do this, see if you can connect to the possibility that this process is genuinely healing for your friend that's suffering. But through some mechanism that might be difficult to understand, this process of presence and compassion is healing. that your breath and mind can be used to cultivate this compassion, this love in a way that's really felt, truly nourishing and healing. Allow yourself to explore that possibility. If you'd like, you can stay with the same 
person that you're imagining. Or bring to mind someone else. Someone that you know is suffering. And continue this process with them. Inhaling their suffering. Exhaling a purifying white light. Cultivating presence and compassion. You can stay with one person for a very long time or move through many different people. It's all good. Simply continue to cultivate presence and compassion in this way. Through this process, it becomes possible to be present with suffering in a way that cultivates compassion, which is a deeply connecting and healing form of love, rather than being overwhelmed and burdened by suffering, we can connect to love through compassion. If feelings of compassion or love arise for you in this process, allow yourself to notice that and really enjoy it. Knowing that the flavor of compassion is a wholesome flavor that you can really enjoy.
Very good. Now, take a moment to reflect on this practice period. Recall what it was like for you, what happened for you, and see if there are any lessons you might discern from your experience. Anything that might be useful to you to apply in future practice period. Take a moment to recall and consider. And as you're ready, at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation. <laughs> 